Applebee's and an Applebee's in Independence have been fired after a woman claimed she was racially profiled. The altercation happened over the weekend. KCTV 5's Rudy Harper is live now in Independence with more on the response from Applebee's. Rudy. Yeah, Ellen, Brad, the lights are out tonight at the restaurant. The company says it's been temporarily shut down after this incident, and it was all caught on camera. The woman who pressed record says she and her friend were targeted because of their skin color. Oh, my God! We have not been Is she this emotional? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? They keep, the she server, she's almost positive. The Hold server on. says yeah. she's positive. Yeah. Let me get her face. She says she almost been positive. Here. Did you tell her Video of the confrontation shared on Facebook now seen by over 2 million people. You're doing your job, but this restaurant is not doing its job because if she's positive that she's seen us, we haven't been there. We have this is my first time After an hour into their meal, Alexis Bryson and a friend say they were approached by a police officer, an Applebee's manager, and a mall security guard. That's when they were accused of dining and dashing a day before. In the video, they repeatedly deny it. We have not been here. Backlash on social media was swift and Applebee's launched its own investigation. Days later, Applebee says the franchise terminated the manager, server, and another employee involved in the incident. Back to that video, you can hear the officer finally allow the two women to leave, but first they had to pay for that unfinished meal. What they're telling me is, is that they want you to go ahead and pay your bill and leave and not come back. Okay, that's perfectly not fine. And tonight the company says they are reaching out to apologize directly to those two women. No word yet on when this Applebee's will reopen. Live in Independence, Rudy Harper, KCTV5.